Hello and welcome to this Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to install a web server onto our Raspberry Pi. So we're going to install the Apache and PHP modules. So if you'd like to go over to your Raspberry Pi, we'll get started. Before we go into the Raspberry Pi, actually I'm still sat on my Mac and I've just gone to the web address of my Raspberry Pi which is 192.168.164 which was set up in a previous tutorial. And as you can see, as we go to that web page, it's just coming up with an error. What we're hoping to see from our Mac is our Raspberry Pi's web page. So once we've done a setup, we'll be able to come back to our Mac or PC, type in the web address, and hopefully then we'll be able to see the web page. So over to our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I'm into my Raspberry Pi, and what I need to do is launch the terminal. So there's a little icon on my desktop, so I'm just going to double click on that. Okay, so I'm in my Raspberry Pi, and what I need to type in is sudo, so super user do, apt-get install, so this is how we install the modules, and then we need to type in the names of the module, so we want Apache uh, 2, PHP 5, and then we finish that off with lib Apache 2 dash mod dash PHP 5. So what we've got there is sudo apt get install Apache 2 PHP 5 lib Apache 2 dash mod dash PHP 5. If we press enter, it's going to go and read the package and it's going to find it. And this package needs 21.2 uh, additional space. So I'm just going to say yes. Press enter. Now it's time to go and get a cup of tea. Wait for it to finish installing. <clears throat> okay, so that's finally installed. One thing to note is if you did see any errors while you were installing that at the bottom here, it would come up with an error. Make sure you've updated your system as we did in the previous tutorial with the apt-get updates. Um, okay, so now that's installed, what we need to do is just restart the Apache service. So we'll, again, super user do sudo service Apache 2 and restart and press enter. So it's just gonna restart the server so we know it's working okay. And the best way to test that is to come out of our Raspberry Pi for a moment, go over to our Mac or our PC or iPad, any device you've got, and have a look and see if you can go to the web page. Okay, so I'm back into my Mac, and I'm just going to press Enter. This is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. So hopefully, when I press Enter, yay, I get it works. That's the default page in Apache. So it's just the index page that's set up, ready to let you know that it's working. So I'm now looking at my Raspberry Pi as a web server. So I'm just going to switch back over to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so back in my Raspberry Pi, I now have my web server set up. That's fantastic. And I can jump in to my web server via command line, or the web server address via command line, by doing cd slash var slash www and press enter and this is the uh, directory of the web server so if I just type in ls to get a list of context, contents you'll see that index.html file that we had in there which is fantastic I know where it is via command line We'll go into a bit more command line detail and we'll be editing that file later on in a different tutorial. I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to type in cd again on its own to go back to the root directory. I'm just going to close down my terminal and I'll show you where it is in the explorer window. So I'm just going to come to my start menu and I'm going to scroll up to accessories and across to file manager. Give that a click, and this is the file manager. 
if you're used to sort of Windows operating systems, it's very similar to Windows Explorer. And when we start up, we're currently in the home slash pi directory. We can just take away that directory. So we're right back up into the, the main area. And as you can see, if you look in there in the address bar, we've just got a slash. So it tells us we're right at the top of the directories. But if you look down here, we can see that var folder. So we can double click on that. And inside the var folder, there's a few other folders. But the one we looked at earlier was the www. So let's give that a click. And there it is. There's our index.html file. Which if we double click on that, it'll just open up in our browser. And we'll see the same message we got looking at it from a different machine. So it's set up as a HTML file at the moment. You can edit that. If you know a bit of HTML web design, you can make some changes in there. That's fine. In some later tutorials, I'm going to go through some PHP with the Raspberry Pi. So we'll, we'll be setting up different files in there. But feel free to have a play as it stands. So that's how to set up a little web server in your Raspberry Pi and how to access it from a different machine. Try it from different computers on the same network. See if you can access it from different devices like your mobile phone and have a look. It's uh, interesting to, to see it. Um, I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.